Hi guys, welcome back again. Today, I'm gonna have a look at the scuttle panel, see how we can get that lined up. What we need to do is um, trim down the A-posts, because there's a whole load on the A-posts that's still got to come off. Now, just offering it up here, obviously not quite in a perfect place, but that intersection there, and then it's sort of well at least on this part of the uh, splash closing panel that's that fits there reasonably well this is the bit where we've got to chop some and this is a bit where there's still quite a bit of corrosion up this um, a post now luckily you get quite a lot with these heritage scuttles so it actually comes all the way up to there as you can see although oddly it's not quite a straight line <laughs> probably because it's a straight line before it gets pressed and then the uh, the different angles that it's pressed into make it slightly curved here but what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll mark roughly where that's coming to and then we'll remove most of this you sort of up to here and then we'll remove the last little bit but yeah once that's on there we're going to start looking a bit like a front of a mini a little bit um, and then I could be able to put the bonnet in but uh, not won't be able to close the bonnet while it's on this jig so at least we'll be able to sort of roughly see where the top of the bonnet comes to um, with it kind of two-thirds closed uh, yeah okay I'm going to mark this up and maybe film a bit of cutting and removing the metal and then we'll see where we're at Funny it hard to uh, get underneath this piece. Seems to be a lot of spot welds. If we can. Can't make them out on this side, but doesn't seem to want to release anywhere up this length. Oh well, we'll grind it off, no problem. This piece has come off alright. Just it tore out its spot weld there. Probably was slightly rusty here. But that's fine, once it's in we'll pop a little bit of weld on the back. Just fill that up. I've put new glass on the uh, camera. All the uh, welding and grinding close-ups were uh, taking their toll on the glass there. So hopefully you can see a bit better now. And I'm going to show you what we're doing with this scuttle panel. Some of the adjustments I've made to fit it. First, just bring you in to this bit here. So this is where the scuttle panel intersects with the inner wing here now I was a little bit being pushed up just there so I've just just nudged that down slightly and the other thing the scuttle panel was sitting a bit too high it wasn't following this line here it was sort of half a centimeter above and I just needed the scuttle panel to slide back so right in there I've just taken out maybe three mil something like that just off of there and actually made it into a perfect 90 degrees so that we can get the scuttle to fit so if I, I've just put you down hopefully you can see lift the scuttle into place but basically just locks into these two points here So I haven't pushed that side down. I need to I need to finish removing this here. I've, I've saved you watching me grind all this away but you can see in there that that's the old scuttle panel coming away from the door frame and then this piece is a bit we're removing up here so then we can intersect that with that. Now something else just noticed because this is stamped when that's stamped out on the machine this is not exactly 
straight this line so I just put the, um, the sander across the top there just to sand it relatively flat but anyway just knit back around this side so we're intersecting here okay I mean there's a slight difference in the in the panel some of this will need trimming off or blending in but it goes behind the seam strip anyway so we're not too worried for bringing around this side this panel will now it will now we've got a little bit of metal missing here on this repair but not too worried about that so there's one other thing I want to show you because we're going to be dry assembling or test assembling the wings and the front panel all down these seams all across the top here we don't have enough clamps rather than go out and buy an extra 10 or 15 clamps just for this one job I have found something that we can use so this is what we found these are designed for clamping the earth onto sort of metal sinks and things so what they are basically is a little electric connector where your wire should go into this part and then be crushed so the wire goes in there and then that gets crimped and then this little screw here crimps onto the edge or the underside of the sink bring it over to this bit that we're wanting to hold in place get the little allen key Just loosen it off a bit make sure that's fully pressed on this is just going to hold everything nice so it doesn't move I mean obviously you don't want to do it too tight because that could potentially put a little dent in that panel I've got another one here so I just loosen that we can place it on this lip here and then we put it next to a clamp so the clamp holds it tight Then we can take the clamp away and that's holding that in position there. That's this pretty much prepped try to get that as uh, level as I can but hopefully there'll be a slight gap for filleting some welding to that bit will get welded up after and then uh, we'll probably just put a little bit more on the inside here as well just to shore that up but yes let's see how the panel fits hey so just checking the bit of fitment on this scuttle panel um, so I've put on this wing here and what I'm concerned about is obviously this gap around here but also I need to bring this wing onto this A panel here and match these flanges up now initially the wing was not close enough to this edge here so I think the wing was too far forward and what was stopping it from shuttling back was um, butting into the uh, scuttle panel here and what's stopping the scuttle panel from coming back is this butt joint up here so I've just relieved that a little bit more so there's a bit more space there now which lets the, 
lets the scuttle panel go up a bit more which brings this closer to the front of the car which hopefully means I can bring the wing back slightly and then we can hopefully bring the uh, the wing up against this now do you notice here that if you take that line there it is a couple of mil in front of where the A panel is the A panel is pretty attached you see on the on the um, inner wing we bought but yeah we've got a tiny tiny bit of movement in that you can see that um, yeah we'll see how we go we'll just keep manipulating things until we've got that looking okay once I'm happy then we'll obviously take it all off paint up under here lots of layers of paint maybe some wax oil as well um, on top of the splash plate and the underside of here and as much up this um, tube as we can and then uh, yeah and then we'll have to obviously fix the scuttle in and look at building the front end